Girl with Paul Turton on ABC New South Wales. Fires involving lithium-ion batteries have been in the news a lot lately. Lithium-ion batteries are in so many of our electronic devices these days, including our phones. So should we be concerned about them overheating and causing difficulties? For many, of course, it's a nightly routine, isn't it? Plugging your phone into the charger before you go to bed. Is that, for example, something that we shouldn't be doing? Associate Professor Ritesh Chug is a sociotech expert from Central Queensland University and is with me now on ABC New South Wales. Ritesh, thanks for doing that, by the way. Good morning. Good morning, Paul. So what about charging your phone overnight? Is is that recommended practice? Look, uh, in, in, in theory, lithium-ion batteries can be overcharged, Paul. And uh, we really don't need to charge our phones overnight because our modern smartphones take anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours to charge fully. And by plugging them overnight, we are actually reducing the lifespan of the battery. Okay. And uh, overcharging can also lead to overheating. So that's a problem. Does Although, that happen very know, often? We, we know we've, we've seen lithium, yep. lithium mm-hmm. um, uh, batteries in recreational transport things, you know, hoverboards and, and, and skates and, mm-hmm. and, and in scooters and stuff catch fire. But d- do mobile phones actually catch fire? Is, is that a thing? It's, it's, it's highly unlikely. But having said that, there have been multiple reports globally about mobile phone batteries catching fire. In fact, a few years ago, you'll remember Samsung's um, notebook used, was catching fire. Yeah. And that was because of problems with the battery. Now, our modern smartphones have cut off uh, mechanisms that are built into the phone, which means they prohibit the phone from overcharging. However, uh, Paul, the problem is always not the battery. The problem could be a faulty charger. It could be a faulty cable, which can lead to overheating of the battery. Okay. So that's where, you know, uh, in extreme cases, it can obviously lead to a fire also. And uh, that's one of the reasons, you know, the ACCC last week has issued an advisory uh, cautioning people um, against um, overcharging their devices and also um, ensuring that uh, phones are used or charged in well-ventilated conditions, not keeping it under your doona when you're going to sleep at night. Yeah, of course, you're, um, you're making it even hotter by doing that, aren't you? Absolutely, yes. Yep, yep. There are no emissions from a lithium-ion battery, though. There's nothing that we can inhale or in any way be, uh, be damaged by? Uh, overheating, it is possible because the lithium-ion batteries, the chemical composition. So because of overheating, it is possible that they emanate um, chemical gases. But um, I think what usually would happen whenever that overheating happens, firstly, the, the most immediate reaction is the battery will uh, catch fire. And in fact, you know, electronic vehicle manufacturers such as you know Tesla are also advising, and this is an advice that goes not just for electronic vehicles, any lithium-ion battery is to use uh, what, what I call a 2080 rule, which means you limit your charging to 80% of the full capacity and don't allow the battery to dip below 20% of the capacity. So the 2080 rule. And that will we will extend the lifespan of your battery. It's a matter of you're making it sound like a full-time job to charge your phone. <laughs> you, you just got to plan ahead by the sounds of it. Uh, well, look, there's no harm planning ahead. And, look, and there is no point of plugging it overnight. There is really no need. All right, good on you. Nice to get an update on that and some timely <laughs> advice. Ritesh, thank you. Thanks very much. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Associate Professor Ritesh Chug, who's a sociotech expert from Central Queensland University. Don't know about you, I always do that. The phone is on charge overnight, every night. Well, up until tonight, that is. 20 to 11 here on ABC New South Wales.